Begin by using our cream eyeshadow base, which is very essential. This is going to act like the glue for your eyeshadows to stay on and be prepped throughout the entire day. We're going to go next to an all over light color for the eye area. This will be setting the lid space so that when we add our key colors to really accentuate the eye area, it will really help to add in the preparation and the wear of the makeup throughout the day. We're going to add our medium tone and that's going to be sable bronze in the crease area. I'm using our ponytail brush and starting out working the color in to give that very soft contour. Use a color that's really going to enhance your eye color as well as allow the whites of your eyes to really stand out. I'm going to place Arabian Nights which is a rich blue along her lash line. I'm using brush angle 50 to get a nice tight line along the eye area. And we're going to add a medium tone of an eyeshadow on the lid. This in addition to the crease color will actually give that very nude sheer contour that's perfect for day. For the final step for eyes white peach, which is a nice glaze shadow, on her upper brow bone. We're now going to do our waterproof mascara in the high volume formula. This is perfect to really get great volume and really give that nice fullness that all of us look for when it comes to our lashes. And that's the eyes. Before we start, we're going to do primer all over the face. This is the OAOP Primer at Trish. Primer is important because you're going to want to keep your foundation on throughout the day. I'm going to use the Even Skin Foundation, the perfect color for Paula. I'm going to shake it up first. This is an oil-free foundation. Great for day, especially if you're outside. We're going to take the foundation brush and start at the inner part of the face and apply outwards. Next is concealer. I'll be using the Even Skin Extra Coverage Duo Concealer, which comes with two different colors, a light and a dark. It's good to definitely use something like this when it comes to coverage for your foundation because you're going to be able to customize that perfect blend for your skin tone. And now we're going to set the foundation and concealer with our mineral pressed powder. I'm using our beige color. It has an SPF 15, so it gives that added protection for that day wedding. I'm gonna take our London Face Shine and we're gonna apply this to Paula's upper cheekbone. What this is gonna do is really capture the light perfectly and give that accentuated high cheekbone that we all look for. Now for the blush. When choosing a blush, it's important to choose a color that's gonna complement your skin tone. I'm choosing our Jolie blush it's that perfect color that's going to really complement Paula's all-over look for her makeup. We're first going to prep Paula with Flawless Lip. This product is key to holding on your lipstick throughout the day. What this product does, it actually fills in the fine lines on our lips and helps to grab onto the lip color so it really ensures a long-lasting wear, especially with all those kisses in between. We're gonna take our Natural Plum Flawless Lip Lip Liner, which is a new addition to our lip liners as well, and we're gonna apply that, contouring the natural shape of her mouth. Now to just add the highlight, we're gonna do our Petal Gloss, which is that perfect look right on the center of the pout that we make with our lips. And there you have it, the perfect lip for our bride. So we just completed our daytime or destination bridal look and we put it all in this wonderful white bridal planner. 
Paula, you look absolutely beautiful. Your dress is amazing, and of course your makeup is just picture perfect. It's clean, fresh, natural, everything you'd want for a daytime or destination wedding.